we are going to talk about plant nutrition in this video before we dive in let's think about something for a moment what is food for us it's something we eat to give us energy and help us grow but here's the big question how do plants which don't eat like we get their food from do they just take it from the soil like grabbing a snack from the fridge a lot of people think so that plants take food from the soil but here is the thing that's not true and some others might say oh plants get energy from the soil through the roots not true again and others might even say plants also get their food from sunlight guess what still not true so what is going on here plants don't eat food like animals do the soil doesn't give them food the soil doesn't provide energy either and when sunlight is super important it doesn't give them food directly aren't you curious now what's really happening how do plants actually get their food it sound like a bit of a mystery right but don't worry we are going to explore in this chapter and unravel this mystery about how plants get their food all right let me break the mystery for you plants are unique because they make their own food unlike humans or animals which need to eat plants can actually produce own energy and because of this they are called producers or autotrophs now what does that mean producers or autotrophs are living things that can create their own food and the word autotroph literally means self feeders pretty amazing right so if plants make their own food how do they do it the process is called photosynthesis using sunlight plants turn carbon dioxide now what is carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is a gas that is present in the air and the symbol for carbon dioxide is c o with a 2 like this here c o 2 now using sunlight plants turn carbon dioxide from the air and water from the soil into food it's like a magic factory powered by the sun so as you can see plants are called producers because they produce their own food using sunlight carbon dioxide that is present in the air and water from the roots to make food isn't that amazing now you might be wondering what's the role of soil then while well, plants do not take food from the soil they still need it for other important things like water and nutrients nutrients are essentially minerals that plants absorb from the soil think of soil as a support system for the plant but not the actual source of its food plants have amazing transportation network that carries water and nutrients throughout their structure helping them grow strong and healthy and providing the water needed to produce food now what if this there is not enough nutrient in the soil or what if the plants have already absorbed most of the nutrients from the soil that's where fertilizers and manures come in they are added to provide an additional supply of nutrients helping the plants grow better fertilizers and manures give the plant a much needed boost when soil doesn't have enough nutrients ensuring they have everything they need to stay healthy and produce food efficiently so to summarize plant nutrition we have debunked a major misconception that plants take food from soil plants do not take food from soil instead plants produce their own food using sunlight carbon dioxide present in the air and water now what is carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is a gas present in the air this process of making food is called 
photosynthesis and that's why plants are known as producers or autotrophs they make their own food so what's the role of soil then well soil doesn't provide food it does supply essential water and mineral which is actually nutrient that helps the plant grow in other words soil acts as a support system for the plants now what if the soil runs out of nutrients that's when we add an additional supply in the form of fertilizers and manures these help replenish the soil and ensure plants stay healthy and continue producing food so next time you see a plant think about how amazing it is like a little factory producing its own food just using sunlight carbon dioxide and water